<laughs> us Americans have straight and gay stereotypes. Yeah, 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 for sure. For sure. Um, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't know. Like, like, are you allowed to say, can you just say somebody's a bitch, a guy, without calling them gay? Is that not possible? Because Tony could just be a bitch. You guys could just be responding to that bitch energy that he has. Right? He's a bit of a Randall. He's got that bit of a vibe about him, right? The kind of guy that will call the police on you if you shout at him and, and you know, if you go into a, a disagreement over a parking space, he might call the police. But that doesn't mean he's gay. You know what I mean? Like, I think you guys are taking it a bit too far. Just because he's a bitch doesn't mean he's gay. It's just like, I don't know. Also, oh, talking about the gay thing. Talking about the gay thing. Hold, hold your fault. Hold your fucking fault, guys. Talking about the gay thing because you're going to be in for a fucking shock when I show you this because I was blown away when I saw this because this is doesn't make any sense to me personally. So, talking about the whole gay thing, please let me know what your opinion is on this, right? So, the whole Tony Hinchcliffe, it's going to tie with the Tony Hinchcliffe conversation. So, the Tony Hinchcliffe conversation goes something like this, right? Because Rogan, and again, I don't like this about Rogan because I think this is really kind of like how do you describe it? It's almost. I don't know how to, to describe it. It's like. As much as I love Rogan, I think if I was another comedian and he, because I think Rogan does this thing, if you notice on his shows, he sometimes does this thing where he talks about other stand up comedians without mentioning their names and mention, and does like, but talks about stuff that he doesn't like about them or something, right? As like a lesson for everybody in the podcast. Like he used to do it to Bert a lot. You talk about Bert, you talk about having a friend that drinks too much and, you know, giving all these fucking lectures around his drinking issues and basically talking about him in public without mentioning it, but everyone knows he's kind of talking about him. And I'd kind of not like that as a, as a friend, if I was a friend of his. And he also does this thing with a gay thing where he keeps mentioning all the time on his podcast, he has this very close friend who's, you know, maybe a comedian, may not be a comedian, who has a family and everybody knows in the industry that he's gay but he's afraid to come out. And Rogan be like, oh, I don't care. He should not give a fuck. It's 2023. Do what you want. But him keep him mentioning it and even not mentioning a name, I feel like puts undue pressure on that person who doesn't want to come out. Do you know what I mean? It's just not... With the, it just feels a bit icky. So the running theory is that he's always talking about Tony Hinchcliffe. That's a running theory, which makes no sense because Tony doesn't have a family. Because Joe, Joe's always said, maybe that's a misdirect, but people always say it's Tony Hinchcliffe. Now look at this post, courtesy of the Burt Kreischer subreddit. <laughs> this is fucking wild. Somebody said this, on the most recent episode of Red Bar, titled Red Bar Symposium 2023, comedian Jen Kirkman participated in by leaving a voicemail. On the voicemail, she states that Burt Kreischer is a closeted gay man and that all his anxiety and alcoholism <laughs> is a result of his closeted homosexuality. It's behind a paywall, but the clip is at 6.25.05 seconds. Can you imagine <laughs> that after all this time of people predicting that it might be, or guessing that it might be Tony Hinchcliffe, that the person that Rogan might be talking about this whole time was Burt Kreischer? So that might make some relation to that clip of Bert having that weird moment with uh, Tom Segura on a podcast where he was questioning his sexuality. This doesn't make any sense to me personally. I don't think this is true. I think this Jane Kirkman person, whoever she is, is really, really talking out of their ass. But if it is true, it's hilarious because the whole internet, the whole LA podcasting scene of fans is convinced that Tony is the gay one. <laughs> imagine if it's fucking Burt Kreischer can you imagine that I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know I just don't think it's true I just can't picture like Burt doesn't give me gay vibes at all at all at all don't get me wrong Burt wouldn't be scared to kiss a guy for a for marketing purposes right you know Burt right he would do anything to sell a ticket he would be he wouldn't be remiss to kiss a guy for a viral clip or something cool but Burt Kreischer being attracted to men come on let's be real let's be fucking real like let's be real um yeah exactly um bodybuilding news he's a frat guy he's done some gay things cool for sure 
I think he's spoken about doing that thing in it that frat guy zoo, which is incredibly gay, but they don't think it is. Um, where if a guy's sleeping and their mouth's open, you like, you know, stick your little wee wee in there. Like, <laughs> I don't know what kind of game that is. Cause it doesn't sound like a game to me. That sounds like a fucking orgy or something, right? But he's, I think he's, I've heard him again. I'm not going to put any smart in his name, but I think I've heard Bert mention those kind of games, those kind of story, those kind of like, you know, uh, razzings that they have. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, Jared Millerick, that sexual soul. But oh, I don't know. 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 I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> imagine, imagine you, imagine you waking up, and you've got your friend's piece inside your mouth, and then he just tells you it's a prank. It's a prank. How would you? How would you react? <laughs> It's a pr- and then your friends get annoyed at you for not being okay with it and they try and make you feel bad for it like imagine they try and make you be okay like because even because the thing think about it this way even if you are gay that's still sexual assault <laughs> do you know what i mean it doesn't actually work either way it doesn't work if you're straight it doesn't also work if you're gay because you know the guy just slipped it in <laughs> while you were sleeping that's some fucking like What's that short guy that said that story? What's his name? That comedian. Um, uh, the small guy. Uh, that's some Brad Williams shit. Do you know what I mean? That's some Brad Williams shit. <laughs> that was just a prank, man. We're just being boys. Boys will be boys. Locker room shit. Like, excuse me? <laughs> you can't just stick a piece in my mouth like that while I'm sleeping, bro. That's not how it goes. 